one more thing you must be knowing while understanding the process of photosynthesis is the stomata now carbon dioxide as we have told it is being taken up by the leaves from the atmosphere and it is releasing oxygen into the atmosphere how this process is happening which part of the plant or which part of the leaf actually does this that is the stomata stomata are basically the pores which are present on the surface of the leaf these can be present on the upper surface of the leaf as well as at the lower surface of the leaf now these stomata are basically pores like this is the pore this is the stomatal pore we call it stomatal pore or stomatal opening and through this exchange of gases which are carbon dioxide and oxygen takes place now the cells which are just surrounding the pore these are called as guard cells guard as the name indicates they just protect so same way they protect this pore so when the exchange of gases takes place that time this pore becomes open and it will allow the gas to enter as well as allow gas to move out and when there is no exchange of gases required then this pore becomes closed it will become very thin and then it will not be appearing only that will appear as that now the pore this is the pore part which i am telling you this pore is responsible for exchange of gases which are carbon dioxide and oxygen in the case of process of photosynthesis so these are present all over scattered on the leaf here this i have just took a cross section of this so that you can easily understand this circle is drawn here and inside the circle what is visible that i have drawn in detail now this stomata plays the most important role in the leaf more of the stomata obviously they will help in the exchange of gases rather stomata perform another function also they also help in the process of transpiration which you have read in your sixth class that transpiration means evaporation of water vapor through the surface of the leaf so stomata have two main function one is they help in the process of photosynthesis by the exchange of gases means the main function is they help in exchange of these two main gases and second thing they do is they carry out transpiration that is the evaporation of water vapor through the surface of leaf these two processes are because of the stomata here i am showing you certain leaves these leaves are basically differently colored all these leaves you will notice they will have different colors like this also then this also means these are not totally green these are not completely green it means there is something present in these which is not chlorophyll because chlorophyll gives green color but these leaves have different colors also so what are these leaves called variegated leaves the term used for these leaves is variegated leaves variegated means variety and here these leaves are having variety of colors so the leaves with a variety of colors is called as a variegated leaf and here you must be thinking then how the process of photosynthesis occurs in such leaf if these leaves are not having sufficient amount of chlorophyll but the answer is these leaves also carry out the process of photosynthesis in the same way as other leaves because chlorophyll is present in them but it is sometimes sometimes being overlapped by other colors also other colors means like some leaves are having red pigment some leaves are having uh, this purple pigment also some are having yellow also so the presence of chlorophyll is there and that allows the process of photosynthesis other leaves they just overlap each other and give different colors to the leaf so these like leaves look very beautiful but still they carry out the process of photosynthesis so this is variegated leaf 
This term is not given in your NCRT, but there was a question asked by Bujo that what about the plants which have variety of colors on their leaves, but can they do photosynthesis? Yes, those leaves also carry out the process of photosynthesis because of the presence of chlorophyll along with other pigment in them. You might have seen some slimy patches on water bodies or sometimes even on the surface also where there is lot of moisture or water remains standing for long. That is the algae. Now algae is also having ability to produce its own food because of the presence of chlorophyll in it. As chlorophyll is the green pigment which is important for carrying out the process of photosynthesis because algae also have chlorophyll so it also produces its own food. So when you are writing the autotrophs then one main autotroph we consider is the plants. These are the main autotrophs. Then we can write algae also. Algae is also, algae is the plural. If you write singular then it is alga. So never get confused that you are writing wrong spellings. So these are just singular or plural only. So autotrophs are basically the plants which carry out the process of photosynthesis as well as the algae which carry out the process of photosynthesis. So this way they produce their own food and keep on growing and multiplying very fast and they very fast cover a water body where they have once started growing.